Hi everybody, it's Eat More Toys and we're back with another review. It's been a long time, but I'm back. Alrighty, so <clears throat> this is from the Museum of Graffiti. How beautiful is that to have a Museum of Graffiti? It's in Miami, Wynwood Art District. And I got some of my what I would consider grails because I had not seen these for sale anywhere at all. So, oh wait, I, I need I need a real office. Ugh. So I collect Ron English. This is a forlorn unicorn. There are five colors: baby blue, rainbow, black, white, and orange. He released the first three, not the white and the orange. It was rumored that only for friends. So that sucks because I'm not his friend. But Winwood came through. Here they are. So this is the orange and mm, lavender and what I would consider hot pink. These colors are beautiful and the paint job is spectacular. So take a gander at that. Forlorn Unicorn by Ron English. It's a uh, very very well sculpted uh the seams are can't be seen but the party line where they glued it you can like the arms the feet the tail other than that it's, it's pretty legit well done there's a little glue excess here and uh these go for about mm, 60 to 75 i'm not sure but uh i wanted this one so bad that i was gonna buy a regular one like the blue ones and just paint it just paint it because I was so desperate to get one so I'm glad they finally came out with these I believe there's only a hundred of each color I could be wrong but uh, either way they were hard to find so I'm just glad I got one thank you Winwood and if you go to Museum of Art and spend over $150 uh, worth of purchases you get free shipping in the US use the promo code thank you so let's go to the next toy Another one. This one has the letter W, more than likely for the color white. I've already reviewed this toy before, but I'll show you the box in case this is the first time you see my review. And you see the Ron English in the cartoon style. What does it say? This is not a toy, adult collectible, ages five, 15 and up. And then you see the characters he's made up for his songs and his uh, Illusionville, Delusionville, sorry. Here's some of his albums and his album covers. And then here you see exactly this. He's been on the cover or on the box art since day one, but they just didn't release him, which was a real tease. So I finally got one, so yay. So let's look at the second one. This is white and silver with little touches of baby blue for the eyes and the sword that's going through its head. So, this is um, one of those classic art toys that is very cute, but it's also very mm, dark in that it has something stabbing through its jugular going through its head. So at first sight, you just think it's a regular unicorn like this. But then when you see what's going on, you don't know if it's pushing it in or pulling it out. All right, so that's the review for these two. There's more reviews coming up. Oh, by the way, this one's signed on the booty. This toy has a nice booty. Come on now. Booty, booty, booty everywhere. <laughs> anyway, hope y'all have a good uh, New Year 2022. Stay safe and keep buying toys, y'all.